OHR completed his first ton for Essex before their bowlers, led by their fiery debutant, Tymel Mills, dismissed Leicestershire cheaply to win their third LV County Championship match of the summer by 254 runs at Grace Road. The final day began with Shah looking for that 100, with his side searching for quick runs to add to their lead already at 354. He needed 16 more to reach his milestone, and he started well enough. In going for a big hit, his partner Ryan Tenderscarter gave Jigger Nake his fourth wicket of the innings with a catch at long on. But Shah did get to three figures, and he did it in style by driving Claude Henderson for a maximum. After notching 40 first-class hundreds for Middlesex, this was his first in his seventh innings for his new county, and it had come off 144 balls. Shortly afterwards, James Foster declared with his side on 344 for five and Shaw on 112 to set Leicestershire 393 to win. Essex had a minimum of 89 overs to bowl Leicestershire out, and they needed only one ball of that to dismiss Will Jefferson, who was caught at slip off David Masters. Already the home side knew that it was going to be a case of defending for the day, making the most of the attacking fields in the process. However, their start put them right up against it. Not only did they lose Jefferson, but Greg Smith then turned a ball from Morris Chambers to Billy Godelman at short leg to leave Leicestershire on 19 for two. This game was summing up the Foxes' season in the LV County Championship. They started this match in the wooden spoon position, although they have, in many of their games, matched their opposition, save for a bad session or two. And that was the case again here after a poor third day. Matthew Boyce was trying to make the last one a better one. But then three quick wickets before lunch made their task of saving this game almost impossible. And it was the 18-year-old debutant Mills who caused the damage after Ravi Vipara had got an LBW decision to go his way to get rid of James Taylor. Mills then claimed his maiden championship wicket by getting Boyce in the next over with a ball of real pace. And the youngster was at it again in his next over. Tom knew another to find the speed of Mills too tough to handle. Thanks to Mills, Leicestershire had gone to lunch on 79 for five and with a very hard afternoon ahead of them. Leicestershire have had a few problems when batting to save games as their dismissal for 48 against Northamptonshire last month proved. But Nake and Wayne White tried to alter that pattern. They added 23 to take the total to 91, but then Leicestershire was six down as White, on 12, was bowled by Mills, who was proving to be a real handful and loving his debut. While he fired it in at one end, trialist Tom Craddock, on his 22nd birthday, spun his side towards victory at the other. His top spinner was too good for Nake, who was bowled for 25, while his googly was perfectly delivered to bowl Henderson through the gate, leaving Leicestershire on the brink on 115 for eight. Masters needed only one more wicket to match his best ever return in a season of 53 championship wickets, and he would have done that had Matt Walker not spilled a very difficult chance in the slips. Andrew McDonald batting at eight as he was under the weather would have been bitterly disappointed with the outcome of his first game in charge of the county. He did survive, but with Harry Gurney injured, the game was wrapped up after a battling last wicket stand, which lasted 50 minutes. Tender Scarter delivered a snorter to have Nadi Malik caught behind. Leicestershire were all out 10 minutes before the scheduled tea break for 138, meaning a big defeat by 254 runs. The four points they accrued keeps them at the foot of the table, while a second successive victory for Essex and 22 points sees them jump to fourth and only five points off the promotion places.